Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, what is the most difficult decision that you had to make? Now think about that for a moment. You know, a lot of times we agonize over small decisions like, you know, should we buy this house? Or should we buy this car? You know, should we travel here? And I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about ones that were really, really uncomfortable for you. So I was 17 years old. Uh, I was called into ministry. I knew that calling and I had a conflict with my mom over ministry. So I had applied to work at a summer camp, but not like in a leadership role, but like, you know, doing a maid's job, uh, you know, changing beds and cleaning up stuff and doing groundskeeping. And, uh, and I had, had applied for it, but I hadn't said I would take it. And when uh, they offered me the job, I felt led by God to turn it down and stay and do ministry at, at our home church. Now, that was my conviction, and my mom got mad at me. She's like, no, you need to take that job. You need to do this. You committed, you applied, and you need to go. And she thought I was staying for a girl that I was dating, and I wasn't. Uh, not at all. And in fact, that relationship ended before the summer started. So, uh, but she thought I was just doing it for a girl. And I said, no, this is what I feel like God's leading me to do. And I, look, I was still dependent on my parents. I lived at home. I had not yet graduated from high school. I was close, but uh, not yet. And I chose to make my mom mad, which is always a dangerous thing to do when you're 17 years old. So uh, look, what I did is I chose Jesus. And I did ministry that summer, and I, I helped shepherd our youth group, and we didn't have a youth pastor, and uh, actually, Merelda and I started dating that summer 43 and a half years ago. That ended up pretty well. Uh, but this passage we're looking at today, Matthew 10, is one where Jesus says, I want to be your priority, and you have a decision to make, and it's not going to be a comfortable decision much of the time. Matthew 10, verse 34, Jesus says, do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me because whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake, he will find it. You see, Jesus knew that his presence in this world would bring conflict. I mean, you see conflict between the Jews about who he is. And Jews ended up persecuting Jews because of their belief in Jesus. And you got to know that families turned against each other because They'd abandoned the faith of their fathers and were pursuing Jesus as Messiah. And it still happens today in places where people are persecuted for the gospel. Their own household will turn them into the government. They became a convert, a convert of Jesus. They're worshiping Jesus. They're going to an illegal church. All those things are still happening. And, and Jesus wants you to choose him. I'm just telling you that Jesus wants you to love him more than anyone else. Now, if you're married, Jesus wants you to, love, you to love him more than your spouse. If you have kids or grandkids, Jesus wants you to love him more than them. And some of you are like, that's not right. But I'm just telling you, if you choose to love Jesus more than them, you'll love them more than if you were loving them the most. See, that's how that works. And Jesus knew that, but he's saying, hey, I've got to be the most important thing in your life. I want you to, to deny yourself, take up your cross, follow me, because if you pursue life on your own in your own way, you're going to lose it. But if you'll sell out for me, if you'll give me your ultimate allegiance, you're going to gain life in this world, but life eternal in the world to come. So you got decisions to make. You can choose to follow and love Jesus more than anything else and be blessed incredibly, or you can choose to do life on your own and you're still going to have conflict. It's just not going to be for something that is eternal. Well, I hope that uh, helps. And I, can I just encourage you, love Jesus more. Just keep loving Jesus more. And you're going to have a blessed day and a blessed life. And I hope that helps. God bless Calvary.